This is uh, Thunder at Grayland.com, where we have yet just another Grayland challenge, this time brought to you by Dina. Dina with up in Canada. She has her friend Will there, who has a, uh, Will, what is that, a, is that Pontiac, Mercury? Uh, Pontiac, Transport. Pontiac Transport. Pontiac Transport. Pontiac, oh, Pontiac right. Transport. Oh, right on. Um, all right, how many miles does this uh, vehicle have? Uh, 214,000 K. Uh, so we're about a little over 100,000 miles. All right. Yeah, about 100 and let's call it about 130, 140, I guess. Gotcha. Um, uh, all right. Well, uh, grab your keys, head out there and let's, um, let's do this challenge. We, all we're looking for is for you to tell us if there is a difference in the pollution. Do you know the difference between a okay. exhaust and, say, a dryer vent? Between a what and a dryer vent? Between a car exhaust and dryer vent. Do you know the difference? Oh, yeah, lots of nasty hydrocarbons coming out of the car's right. exhaust. So we're going to... Uh, Just steam out of the uh, dryer vent. We're going to see if we can uh, confuse you so that they both smell the same. All right, fire it up. <laughs> and she's running. All right, uh, it's going to take a little while to warm the car up, but it's not too cold of a day up in Vancouver Day, is it? No, no, it's been run for a lot. It's, it's at operating temperature. Oh, it's already going good. All right, well, uh, well let us know how the exhaust is. Standard um, smelly stuff, I guess. The exhaust? Uh, yep. <laughs> so, uh, what's up? What's our RPMs at? It's at uh, 750. All right. Send in the Dina. Bring in the uh, hologram. You've got it right there. Holding it toward the tank. We're going to hold it there for two minutes and uh, saturate that fuel tank with antitoxin frequencies that will help uh, the burn process inside the piston. What we typically see is that it doesn't get hot enough to melt those dangerous toxins. Um, two, three thousand degrees is kind of their flash or melting point. And uh, inside our exhaust, mm -hmm. or inside our car, there it's only you know six, eight hundred degrees, so a long ways away. Well, what we're doing is we're weakening those toxins so that they, when they hit the engine, they, they, they burn through at that eight hundred degree mark. Okay. Let's uh, move that uh, charged fuel now uh, up into the fuel tank itself. And let's run 2,000 RPMs for two minutes. Okay. And because of this uh, Grayland challenge, we uh, have set aside a million dollars in inventory for the first 400 Grayland challenges. Each person receives, or each video receives, uh, $2,500 or 10 of our fuel chips that you can pass out in your neighborhood. We stop all the pollution on one neighborhood at a time. Imagine how quickly this will get attention worldwide. That would be nice. Raise your hand out there if you love pollution. Yeah, nobody put <laughs> their hand up in there. Yeah, nobody. No. So we think we got a great market here because it sounds like that's something that everyone, you know, wishes, desires, and feel as a species is important. So this is what we're doing here to 
showcase this using uh, YouTube, using real people out there doing a, a challenge to taking cars and reducing pollution. Or you can stand under a cold bucket of water. Yay! <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Will, let's, um, that should be good. Let's uh, put it to the floor uh, three times and back, and uh, let me know where the RPMs are. Okay. Uh, 9.50. Oh, 8.50. Oh, 7.50. Yeah, back to 7.50. Don't think it's really kicked in yet. Let's run it uh, for about another 30 seconds. 2,000 RPM. 2,000 or idle? Yeah, 2,000 RPMs. Okay. We did a 30-foot uh, limo van the other day, um, and it actually surprised me how fast it moved from the tank up to the engine. <laughs> I thought we would have to be there a while. Uh yeah, it's got a long way to go in this car, and it actually doesn't burn a lot of gas. It's pretty good. All right, let's a uh, couple more punches, and we'll see how we're doing. So, uh, drop it again, steady for a bit. Now, 750. <laughs> huh. All right, well, let's, um, let's go to the back and uh, smell the exhaust and see if that has changed. Okay. I haven't, haven't seen any human error here. I think this is, uh, should be a good challenge. Well, still not dry or that fresh. Still not bouncy fresh, but it's uh, it does smell a lot cleaner. Now, just starting to get working. Yeah. Uh, our uh, yeah. the glass is foggy. Let's say it again. I say, are the glasses are they uh, steaming up? Yes. Okay. Good. Good. That's that's an easy indication. Yeah, pollution doesn't leave a, a steam residue. It leaves a, a filmy, nasty chemical toxin. Right. Um, yeah, it's just starting yeah. to work. You're probably uh, going there is a little left over inside your engine and exhaust system that's starting to work out. And those um, smells usually disappear right away. Uh, in the first uh, tank, even two tanks, we recommend you change the oil, dropping all that toxin in the engine into the oil and yeah. out of the car. Well, that was an excellent uh, yeah. real challenge, Will. We appreciate it. Is that one of the coolest things you've ever seen? It's yeah, it was pretty cool. Thank you, Thunder. I hope this works. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to be a big promoter if it does. Epic. Uh, well, hey, until next time, this is uh, um, Thunder at Grayland.com. Take the Grayland Challenge, become a, a Grayland rep, and you'll have a, a quantum year. Be good, be good.